Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I'm here with another January creative prompt. Today is January the 17th. Today we are to talk about and share on our page what was the last or recent movie you watched. Create today's journal page by incorporating something from that movie journal about who you were with, what you snacked on, what you liked about the movie, or what you didn't like. So I'm going to do that today. Henry and I don't go out to the movies very often. It's kind of expensive, especially now that we have things like Netflix where we can watch things at home. But we did go to the theater to see Bohemian Rhapsody. I went online and just Googled Bohemian Rhapsody movie poster, I think it was, and I found these images and I printed them off. I will warn you that there is copyright infringement here. If you plan to sell something with images like this, you need to get them legally. So you need to go through the proper sources and write to them. I'm not going to sell this. I'm just sharing what I thought about that movie. So just thought, thought I'd tell you that. Do you also know that these creative prompts were something that Robin Finnessy, the one of the administrators of the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, she wrote all these and then I'm executing these for you all. It was easier for me to have her write the prompts and then me execute them. That way I didn't overthink it and only pick things that I would like. <laughs> so I've printed a couple of these images. What I thought I would do is add these to my journal page as what I call a tip in and and then I grabbed, I don't have very many music stamps, but I have this really old from 1994 Stampin' Up! set. And I like the little music pieces that are in there, so I thought I would use those. Alright, so to begin with, I've gone around the edges with some Distress Ink Walnut Stain. I'm just kind of touching it up a little bit. And I thought what I'd do is glue these back to back. They're copy paper. It's not super thick. I don't want to write on this, but I like the images. And when I put them on my journal page, I didn't want both images because I was like, what am I going to do so I could see this? And I thought, maybe if I glue them back to back. So I'm just going to use some Aline's Tacky Glue and glue these together. And make sure that they're right side up when you put them together. So they may not have lined up perfectly, so I'm just going to go in and add some Distress Inks on both sides. I know I want to put this on my page here, and I think what I want to do, because I plan to stamp, is I'm going to take out my journal page. That way I'll have a flat surface to work with. And I know I'm going to put this probably down here on the bottom. So I'm going to grab a couple of stamps out of this stamp set and just kind of stamp here and there. I like this little saying, music speaks the words that uh, speaks the beauty words cannot express. So I thought that one might be kind of neat to stamp on here. Maybe right about here. So I just added a few of those stamps around the page. And I think what I want to do now is I want to attach this so that it'll flip out. I've got some washi tape here. Let me see if I can do this where I barely touch the page. I'm going to trim this off even with the top here. Put this down. What I'll tell you about washi tape, sometimes it won't stick, but if you burnish it, a lot of times that will make it stick. And if it still isn't working for you, you may need to apply a little bit of glue. I'm going to fold this over and kind of crease it on that washi tape. And then I'm going to add another piece of washi tape on this side. And then even though it has, you know, in cinemas, I thought I would cover that up and I thought this was appropriate. These are the white words on black that I offer in my shop. It says, find your voice. And I thought that might look kind of cool if I paste that right on there. And then this is going to go like that. Then I'll burnish this again. And then I'm going to put it back in the journal. My journal is loose bound right now. When I'm done doing all of the journaling prompts, I will go ahead and bind it to my journal. I thought it would be best because I didn't know what I was going to do on each page. And if I needed a flatter surface to work on, it's easier for me to pull them out and put it back in. All right, so now let's journal about the movie and who I went with and the snacks that we had. Okay, so I've decorated my page and I've wrote my journaling in here. So the last movie that I saw and any details I want to share, that's the prompt. 
Henry and I saw Bohemian Rhapsody in the theater. We both love music and really enjoy Queen. The movie was really great, loved the music. It was also a sad story, but very well done. The snacks, when we go to the movies, we bring snacks from home. Our favorites, bottled water, Reese's Pieces, malt balls and hot tamales and it also reminded me of when I was a kid and my mom would take us to the movie theater in the summertime mainly because she had three children they were a little bit rambunctious and it's so hot in the summer so it was just easier to take us to the movie theater and we would watch a movie and mom taught me many years ago to smuggle in the candy and we used to buy the big old bag of the by the pound brock's candies and one time i forgot to bring them in so i had to go out to the car and get it and i had it under my shirt coat or my coat i think it was wearing a coat that day because it always gets cold in the theater and i was wearing like a little jacket and I was coming down the ramp to get to our seat and I fell and the candy went everywhere. I was like, oh, so mortified. Thankfully, my brothers got up and helped me pick up what candy I could find right then and there. But I will never forget that forever. <laughs> All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the journal prompt today. I hope you'll check out the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. Check for show more down below for the links to my group as well as anything that I use that I have for sale. I doubt that you can get this music stamp kit, but I'm sure you could find some Something in your stash you could probably even use sh uh, sheet music and tear it up and put on here but I thought this was appropriate for today's prompt all right everybody have a fabulous day give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends comment below and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe have a fabulous day everybody bye